Om Shanti, welcome. We are here with 22nd of August God is blessing. There is one thing, either we pay attention or we have tension. These are the two things. You remove the A and you have tension. So God then says in this beautiful Radhan that why do you have tension? Just pay attention to it. So may you become an embodiment of success by transforming your nature with the natural practice of paying attention. So remove the A and T and then you have tension. So beautifully explained. God says the original nature of all of you is to pay attention. That's what we do. Whether it's an army drill, whether it's an NCC drill, whether it's uh, PT training. Uh, in our schools, we used to be told to pay attention. Attention and we used to be in attention, right? We were not in tension that time. So when you know how to pay attention, that was paying attention to the physical aspects. Now, now we are paying attention to what is going on in our thoughts. How pure are our thoughts? How pure are our intellect? And how pure are our sanskars? Then what is the big deal in paying attention? So, now have no tension in paying attention. You should not be like, why am I having these impure thoughts? Oh my God, I'm thinking so impure things. Oh my God, I'm thinking so evil things. No, that is paying attention or paying attention. Think about it. You're getting tense about it. So God says, don't be tense about it. Just Pay attention to what kind of thoughts are going on <coughs> and change your thoughts immediately towards positivity. So God has said, give good wishes, have good thoughts, have pure vision towards others. So that's what we have to do. Paying attention to the kind of thoughts which we're having in our mind and totally changing them towards the positive side or the pure side. That's the attention which we have to pay. Then God says... <coughs> So now have no tension in paying attention, but let there be natural attention paid. Each soul has the natural practice of being detached. The soul has soul was detached, is detached and will remain detached. So we all know that nothing belongs to us. No one belongs to us. We are here to play our part in the right manner and then go back without taking anything with us. But just our karmas, our thoughts, our sanskars. <coughs> so God says, just as you have made it firm to come into sound, we came into sound, into the physical world. Right now I'm talking to you, this is, I the soul have come into the sound, I the soul have to go without coming into sound with the practice of going beyond sound. So it's a practice of going into mukti or liberation. In the same way, let the practice of going beyond sound and being detached be just as natural. So throughout the day, we are thinking of things and work and paying attention to what to eat, what to wear, where to go, how to earn money, uh, how to improve our work, how to get a promotion, whom to get married to, when to have kids. This is what our natural attention is all about. So God says, now when the drama is coming to end, now pay attention to how to be detached from all these aspects for some time and focus on paying attention towards creator his creation and where he lives and where we have to return then with your powerful vibrations of being detached you will easily achieve success in the service you do and this natural practice will change your nature so we can immediately be detached we can not have any kind of selfish uh, kind of uh, thoughts kind of attitude and nature while we are serving others you should have a nature of uh, serving others without wanting anything, without desiring anything, without even wanting any respect from them, or without even wanting any attention from them. That's how we should pay attention to us doing service. That means we are detached while doing service. In the world, when we pay some money to someone, we become a little attached to it, and we may think, well, I did so much for that person, and my name was not taken. That person did not thank me or uh, my name did not come in the newspapers or uh, my name did not come in the news or that organization did not pay heed to me afterwards even after doing so much i'm not going to help them anymore god says that is not detachment and that is what we learn in brahma Kumari, is how to serve others with detachment and you too can learn this because there's a lot of tension when you're not detached there's a lot of pull push when you're not detached and you've served somebody when you have helped somebody and that's not a good place to be in. So you can learn how to be detached and still serve humanity or even your family members. To learn this, do visit the Brahma Kumari Center.
Donc je suis intéressé.